Hi everyone, this is marketing legend Trinity Ranganathan and Charanya yeah. is here with me and um, Charanya is uh, uh, very uh, you know eager to teach you this course uh, along with me. So this is AutoCAD 2020 and Artificial Intelligence Tools Part 2. Part 2. So you would have seen part 1 um, uh, and this is a part 2 version of it. The continuation uh, uh, you know that is going to actually look into more and more technologies right. Yeah, right. And um, uh, so if you have not seen part 1 go back and see part 1 and then come to part 2 right. Yes part 2 uh, part 1 continuation is the part 2. Correct. So let's uh, start off right now in um, uh, just one or two seconds from now. Yes. Yes. Great Charanya, carry on. Now we are going to see the tool called Ray and the shortcut key is Ray plus enter. Uh, we already uh, see about the tool construction line, same as that this tool, but the construction line fully draw the line, uh, but Ray uh, from the point we uh, pick up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. At that downwards it uh, draw the line. line. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it draw the line angularly or perpendicularly. Any any rays, any angle, it will draw the lines. Now see uh, the my cursor point. It awesome, will, awesome, It awesome. will rotate everywhere. Uh, otherwise, we can uh, give the angle also in this second tab. Now I gave some angle. It will uh, draw the ray at that angle, angle. point. Yeah, right. right, 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 right. Call it. Yeah. This is called ray. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Next, we are going to see about the special line, and the shortcut key is SPL uh, plus enter. Okay. Uh, this will draw the line uh, right like a wave, sine wave. Uh, we uh, studied. Yeah, uh, sine wave we studied. Yeah, we studied days. in our school days. Yeah. So we are now we are the I now see the window. I am drawing the line like a wave. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, it look also looks like sound waves, right? And what is this? Uh, is this typically what no, you're no, doing right I, now? now I am going to draw the sine wave on particular line, okay. like a graph. Like uh, a graph. Okay. In uh, during our school days, uh, we yes, draw okay. the sine waves uh, using some measurements. You correct, know, correct. Uh, like that only. I am now drawing. Uh, That's pretty good, sir. Just see the screen. First, I draw some line. At some distance, I think I draw at uh, 10, 20, 50, 20 feet line. Yeah. There is a 10 feet line. It looks 10 feet. Oh, the above 10 feet and oh, below okay, 10 below feet. 10 totally feet. 20, okay, okay. 20 feet. Very okay. Good, very good, very now good. I am going to start the start to draw the special line from this uh, point. Okay. See how it is drawing the line. If you want, you may give the angle also, degree also for that sine wave. Okay. Uh, during uh, our school days, uh, we draw the sine waves uh, using some measurements. Uh, can you remember can. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, based on that, uh, also we can draw the sine waves in this Particular software. Particular software. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Okay. Pretty good. It keeps on drawing uh, and then good, it's good, yeah, good. Pretty good. Yeah, and right. uh, one more thing uh, uh, which I've seen in AutoCAD, right? It takes us so much good. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. We have so much of potential to do a lot of drawings. That yeah. is a main thing that. Uh, AutoCAD gives us right and uh, yeah. these kind of lines what you are drawing is okay. also very good. Mainly these uh, tool is used for the electronic uh, students I think easy yeah. and triple uh, E students. Uh, okay. They usually uh, draw yeah, the lines yeah. for uh, that uh, something something uh, yeah. what, uh, what is called the analog waves and yeah, something. Analog, uh, yeah. yeah. For that students uh, it will use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next we are going to see that polygonal line. Polygonal. For that the shortcut key is POL plus enter okay yeah. first it asks a number of sides uh, on that we have to give the number of sides then click the center point and we have to we have two options on that one is uh, inscribed circle another is uh, circumbred circle okay first I gave uh, inscribed circle option uh, okay uh, now I am going to measure it uh, actually I gave some radius to this uh, Circle. Okay. Okay. This, uh, okay. Polygonal okay. figure. Yeah, yeah. I gave six sides. Okay. Correct. So it displays six sides. One, two, three, four, five, and six sides. Correct. If you gave a uh, num uh, eight or number of sides, it will display the hexagon in, uh, in that eight, eight sides. Eight sides. Uh, okay? Yeah, okay. Now I am drawing the circle on that radius, ten feet uh, radius. Okay. Uh, this is inscribed option. 
so that the hexagon will display inside, inside that, that circle, circle. Uh, that circumdu circle means the hexagon will display outside, outside of that circle. circle that is the difference between these two option okay uh, now uh, this is example for the circumdu circle okay uh, wait for pol plus enter number of sides i am giving 6 and uh, now i am going to give a <coughs> water i am going to give a um, the uh, right, uh, I am going to click the center point. Oh, okay. For that only I am going here uh, to display that center oh, point. Oh, the center point. Okay, uh, okay, okay. okay. Now I got uh, my center point. Now I clicked on that. Now I am selecting circum the circle. Okay. okay. Now I am giving, giving 10 feet. It uh, The hexagon will display outside the circle. Wow. Did you notice the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Looks so good. Looks uh, mm. so uh, amazing. Yeah, right, right. Now we are going to see about uh, I think uh, next command uh, which is called uh, move. Okay. Object moving command. Wow. The shortcut is M plus enter. Okay. Now I am going to move the, the hexagon. Okay. I am going to select it. Okay. And now I am going to pick one base point. Okay. And I am moving it. Okay. From this to this that, center point. That center point, okay. First, select the base point and uh, place that cursor on another point. Okay. Which uh, which place you want placed on that area. Okay, this is uh, the useful of move key. Uh, suppose if you were uh, uh, planning for uh, something means, uh, and that time it will use the uh, how I can say it. Uh, uh, maybe you want to move certain object. Uh, okay. Uh, copy also same, okay. uh, same like a move. Yeah. But uh, here we are copying that object. Okay. Uh, copy okay. shortcut is CO plus enter. Okay. Move shortcut is M plus enter. These both uh, tools are used for pla uh, while like planning. Arranging the objects. Uh, uh, if, you the want, uh, if you are uh, uh, drawing a windows on plan means uh, just draw one window outside the plan. Then select that. Uh, okay. Then select the uh, window option and move it or copying it. Okay. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you you are uh, going to each and every place and draw the draw window. Okay. okay that's, that's, it yeah. will take lots of yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, we understood that. And uh, yeah, so uh, uh, this is becoming very interesting now. So I think uh, even uh, all kinds of AutoCAD, uh, you know, say uh, uh, people who are using the software will use all these functions. Mm. That definitely is going to help. Okay, so let's uh, move to the next video where uh, we look at more and more uh, uh, features in the same uh, okay. software, right? So until okay. then, it's really the I'm Sharina signing off from only this video, guys. We'll yeah, be back right. in the next video. Yeah.